More than 30 women have come forward over the weekend and are expected to join the 100-plus women sharing their stories of sexual abuse by former USA Gymnastics and Michigan State Dr. Larry Nasser as part of his criminal sentencing. The testimony started last Tuesday and have carried over into this week. Nasser pleaded guilty to 10 counts of first-degree criminal sexual conduct with victims as young as six years old. He was sentenced to 60 years in prison after pleading guilty to federal child pornography charges. More than 150 women have said they were abused by Nasser, who is the USA Gymnastics doctor for nearly two decades. Nasser sat in the witness stand so that the victims could address him directly. For many of the women, this marks the first and possibly only time they will have the opportunity to speak to him directly. On Monday, away from the courtroom, Simone Biles came forward with her own account of abuse by Nasser. She joins Ali Raisman, Gabby Douglas and Michaela Maroney as recent Olympians who said they were abused by him. On Tuesday, Kyle Stevens was among those who emotionally confronted Nasser by recounting her first instance of abuse when she was just six years old. On Friday, three-time Olympic gold medalist Ali Raisman delivered an empowering statement and added USA. Gymnastics is rotting from the inside. Quote, Judge Rosemary Aquilina is presiding over the hearing. On Thursday, she informed the courtroom that Nasser said he does not know whether he can face witnesses in the impact statements anymore. Nasser submitted a six-page single-spaced letter to her. He described the victim's statements as a four-day media circus. Quote, I do not know why you are complaining now. Aquilina told Nasser. Nasser said that his letter was a cry for community mental health. Quote, Here is the full rundown of the first day of impact statements by victims. Here is the full rundown of the second day of impact statements by victims. Here is the full rundown of the third day of impact statements by victims. On day four, Allie Raisman and Jordan Weber ripped Nasser, USA Gymnastics and Michigan State's handling of the case. Here is what the victims said on Wednesday, according to reporters in the room. Matt Mansarini of the Lansing State Journal, Lauren Gibbons of Michigan Live, Clayton Cummins of Wilkes News, Kate Wells of Michigan Radio and John Barr of ESPN are among the reporters providing live updates. On Twitter, the stories shared by the women contain graphic details and mature subject matter. Bailey Lawrenson, Lawrenson, 22, was known as victim B in court filings. She was abused by Nasser when she was in fourth grade as a competitive gymnast for the Twistars. The local gymnastics club owned by John Getter, named as a co-defendant in federal lawsuits against Nasser, suggested that she see Nasser. During a practice, she fell and broke her neck in four places. Getter told her it was likely a muscle injury and had her finished practicing. Lawrenson said she took eight months off from gymnastics but then her injuries returned and she sought medical treatment from Nasser. That's when my abuse started. Lawrenson said, you said it was medical treatment. You closed your eyes and continued talking to me like nothing was happening. No one had ever touched me like this before. Quote, the abuse ended when Nasser told her that she needed to quit gymnastics. If she wanted to walk again, Lawrenson said she had grab HC nightmares about Nasser and others trying to sexual abuse her. Lawrenson took a shot at Larry Nasser's attorneys Shannon Smith for allegedly smiling and consoling this monster, quote, Valerie Webb. Webb was also a gymnast at Twistars and she started to see Nasser when she suffered from back problems. Webb reached out to the prosecutor over the weekend through a media representative. Nasser started abusing Webb at seven years old. She noted once instance when she was 10 years old and Nassar asked her to put on a pair of baggy shorts before digitally penetrating her. 
Her mother was in the room but Nasser said that the treatment would mean less surgery. Webb previously defended Nasser and said that she helped her. Whitney Mergens. Mergens was a competitive gymnast in Farmington, Michigan when she was abused by Nasser at 11 years old. X-rays showed that she had multiple bulging discs in her back but Nasser treated her after. Returning from the Beijing Olympics in 2008, she recalled that her mother was in the room when Nasser would push his cold bare hands up her private parts. She had a few more appointments with Nasser and was continually abused. Mergens apologized to her boyfriend for why she no longer wanted him to touch her. She also told her parents that it was not their fault because in a way, they were also Nasser's victims. Marta Stern Stern wanted to remain anonymous but changed her mind to speak publicly. She is now a medical professional who looked up to Stern as a childhood hero. Stern said Nasser assaulted her until she was sore and raw at appointments. She says that she struggled with physical touch because of Nasser's abuse. Class in a Sirovi. Sirovi thought about sharing her testimony anonymously but decided to come forward publicly. She was a gymnast at Great Lakes Gymnastics Club and competed for 15 years. She saw an asser for back pain at the Michigan State Sports Clinic but said that the treatments included vaginal penetration. During treatments, one hand would be on my low back, massaging, and one hand would be between my legs with his fingers inside me. I would cry, Sirovi said. I would cry because it hurt. Quote, she said that even as she was crying, Nasser would say to her that he needed to get really deep in there. She trusted in his treatment even if it felt like he was physically hurting her. His words haunt me, she added. Was he referring to my back or to my vagina? I struggled with reliving these appointments, with putting my feelings into words, sharing my emotion and trying to process what happened. I trusted Larry. Quote, Sirovi was initially in denial about Nasser when the first report started coming out. Parts of her still defended Nasser when child pornography was found on his disposed computers. In 2017, she had no intention of coming forward with her story of abuse but built up the courage by watching former teammates speak out. Larry, how many of us are there? Sirovi asked him. Do you even know? Did you keep track? Do you know the number keeps rising? And that's only the girls actually coming forward. Quote, Sirovi said that Michigan State did nothing to stop this. She also called out Michigan State President Luanna Simon for her cowardice and for sitting by the sidelines when the reports against Nasser started to surface. She asked the judge to take the damage that Nasser caused into consideration in her final sentence. Emma Ann Miller. Miller is 15 years old and her mother allowed her to publicly speak. Miller said that for most of her life she has just lived with her mother and she needed a positive role model in her life. Her mother had appointments with Nasser but then she started being treated by him when she was 10 years old. Miller said that her last treatment was in August 2016 which means she is possibly the last child he will ever assault since he was fired by Michigan State in September. She said that her mother is still getting billed for the appointments where abuse took place. Larry Nasser, I hate you. Miller said, I will work on forgiving you, as I know that's what God wants. But at this moment, I'll leave forgiveness up to him. Quote, Miller says she thinks she might be the last child Nasser will ever assault. MSU Sports Clinic is still attempting to bill her family for that appointment. HTTPS T. Co. S. 8. N. V. Q. Y. J. M. K. 6. Dan Murphy. At Dan Murphy's pin. January 22nd, 2018. Hashtag Larry Nasser. Emma Ann Miller to MSU. I'm 15 and I'm not afraid of you. Pick. Twitter, com, ECBPNAFC 27 Law and Crime Network. At Law Crime Network, January 22, 2018, Miller said that as Nasser's story fades, her story is going to be called Miller vs. 
MSU, and that's you will note, be alone. Miller said that 40 years is not enough and that she would like Nasser to get the maximum sentence of 125 years in prison. This post will continue to be updated with the stories shared from the courtroom on Monday.